Hi there. Welcome back. All right. So we are going to set up next week in my paper test designs. It is only Tuesday. I'm a little ahead of the game this week, but I <laughs> have been so far behind on every other. I have like filmed so many videos. Is this the week we're setting up for? I think. Yeah, because <laughs> this is the week we're on. Yeah, okay. Oh, I am so, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we are going to, let's see if I can bend that back while I talk for a minute. We are going to set up for next week and get my pen out. And then did I want to maybe, I gotta use the same. I have so many. Yeah, they're the same. I have so many Tombos, and then I wind up with duplicates. Yeah, I think that one will work nicely. I'm just going to highlight some of the things that I want to, and then I'm going to just use washi. I have been using sticker kits pretty much every week for ages so we're just gonna do some washi this week and I'm just gonna kind of rip it and tear it and place it how I want it and just kind of be minimal for this week I'm actually on PTO Thursday and Friday so uh, I have a doctor's appointment I moved my doctor's appointment so I have a work thing that I have to do this Thursday. So I was able to move it to next Thursday, which worked out because I'm already off. So let's see. We'll do, go ahead and get our little base down for weather and the reflection. And then see kind of where we want the washi. Okay got all that laid down. It's just easier if I go through that real quick and then I can talk for most of the rest of everything. So I hope you all are doing well. Things are going all right for me. Nothing really big going on. Uh, like I said, I have something going on this Thursday for it's uh, an odd thing for work, uh, not anything I can talk about. So uh, I'm just doing that. So I'll be off of actual work that day um, from the building. But so I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed because I don't know when I'm going to be home on Thursday. So I try to film on Thursday, but it doesn't always work out that way. So if I have a chance to film and now with the new car, I am having a little more freedom with being able to, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything up there, but I am going to highlight the days. We'll go ahead and do all that. Uh, but yeah, if I get a free minute to film, I have been doing so just with the car. It has been nice because now I don't have to go get Steven, so I have this extra time in the evening. It's usually only 15, 20 minutes, but it's a little bit of extra time, and that's just nice to be able to film and not have to rush about. I have th three videos now I'm going to have to edit. <laughs> So I'm not sure how and when those will get up, but they will be uploaded at some point this week. But Friday's video, that's what I'm filming now. That was the one that I wanted to. I hope this looks okay. I don't know. Maybe I should go with the brown. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, eh. I think the brown looks better with the green. I think I'm going to go with those two. I think I'll do this. So, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I, I don't have a lot going on. I maybe I don't think I can get this. 
with these nails. I went and had my nails redone. I was having acrylic and so I went today and had the acrylic taken off and asked if they could just do a gel manicure and apparently the guy talked me into having builder gel. I don't even know what that is but anyway he talked me into it because I really didn't is this not gonna tear I didn't know I mean I knew what he was like telling me but I didn't realize that it was like it's this color so I was like how when I go to have them like in two weeks when I want to change this color uh how does that happen so because I thought like builder gel was clear like Oh my goodness, what in the world? This washi tape is terrible. Maybe I should just tear it before I put it down on the page. It does not want to tear. Anyway, I, uh, so yeah, I was just like, mm, uh, yeah, man, this stuff does not want to, doesn't want to tear very easily. Anyway, yeah, I think this will be nice. Just a little something kind of throughout. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't really sure. Like I said, I thought Builder Gel was just like clear gel they put on and then they painted it gel manicure. And since I had the acrylics on, I was like, well, maybe I should do something because... My nails are going to be really thin and real brittle. So I was like, yeah, sure, definitely. That's cool. And then, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I don't hate them. I'm not like, I actually like them. I feel like he really filed that one wonky and that one, the rest of them look all right. But yeah, for whatever reason, that one is like, way crooked and so is that one so Mo what are you doing he's on Steven's desk and Steven does not like it when Mo gets on his desk so yeah I don't have I've had so much to talk about the last couple of weeks and now this week I'm just like mm, not a lot going on not a lot going on. So I guess I will talk about like my plans. I I don't even know. I'm so torn now. So Sterling Inc. I'm sure you all have seen. Those of you that follow all of the things. Uh, Sterling Inc. has shared the lineup for next year. And they have... <laughs> A pocket uh, it's a pocket um, horizontal so basically where is my pocket at this so it's basically the notebook that I've been using this year but already created into a planner and I love their planners so much. I don't even know what the difference is, really, other than I like that this is timed, but I like everything in this planner more. But I like this paper. I guess maybe the grid. I don't know. I just really love this planner. So, I'll probably buy both. I mean... It's not like I don't do it every year anyway. I buy <laughs> several different planners and then don't use half of them. But I do plan on at least not setting up the ones I don't intend to use. So I'll probably get the Sterling Ink and kind of see what my thoughts are on the planner and then decide because I know I already really like this one. I actually need to see if my 
if the sterling ink will fit in this cover because I am obsessed with this cover. Hopefully the video for it is up already, but if not, it's an Eternal Leather Goods cover. I do have several covers from Colin and I love them. They are beautiful. So you should definitely check him out for leather covers. I really like this one. So maybe at the end I will kind of see if it fits because I need to know. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're on PTO Thursday and Friday. And that is, we're playing the new expansion for a while. Like, that is why I took off because the new World of Warcraft expansion is launching on, ba if you pre-purchased the expansion, you get early access and it's supposed to be on the 22nd. So that is why I took the day off and, or two days off, I guess. So we're gonna play the expansion and hopefully it will be better than the last two because I'm not too thrilled with either of them. This green tears so much easier than this one. I feel like there's a coating on that that it just doesn't tear as well. I don't know. But but yeah, so so but my plans for planners, I intend to buy the Sterling Ink planner and the paper test designs. As of right now, those are the only two planners that I intend to buy. I really want to get the Just Scribble planner. She only has A5 and A6. I think those are the only two. She might have B6. I have to go back and look. But I definitely, I have no use for an A5. So I really, really want to try her planner. So maybe I'll pick up maybe her notebooks because she did do notebooks. So maybe I'll do that and do like a, I don't know. I don't know what I can use it for because I just don't, I have an A5 from, well, I have several of them from Archer and Olive and I use those for my reading journal and I have enough to last me probably the next 62 years because I have a bunch of them and I'm not using the one that I have set up. <laughs> so I just don't know what to do about that because I really want to try it. It looks so tempting. But yeah, I just, I don't know. So I'm going to look, but I'm not buying a Hobonichi this year. This will be the first year that I do not buy a Hobonichi Weeks. I haven't used one like through the year for the last two years, but I sort of used one last year for a little while. A little while. I didn't use it. That's going to bother me. A little piece of green marker behind that. I'm gonna wipe that out. But I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I was talking about. I know I was talking about the just scribble, but oh, the Hobonichi. So yeah, I am not gonna buy, I'm gonna really try hard this year, guys. I don't want to waste I literally waste so much money on planners. Where's my whiteout? There's one. I waste so much money on planners and I'm trying to be better. That's why I'm using washi tape. I'm just like, I need to quit. I need to use what I have. I have an entire, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. Most planner people are, but an Alex drawer. I have an entire one of 
the like larger drawers full. It's actually I have I had them separated into two smaller drawers laid out really nice, which I might go back to that because now I can't find anything that I want to use, but I have an entire large Alex drawer full of washi tape and I don't use it. And then I have the little acrylic drawers, the three acrylic drawers. I have one of those full as well. And I mean, this drawer is packed full of washi. There is no excess space. It is it is a completely full drawer to the top of washi. I have a problem. But I used to use washi, and now I don't really use it that much. So, I really need to get back to, I want to, it, it feels off balance. I'm going to highlight this top up here. So, yeah, I need to use the washi. I need to use the stickers. So, I've canceled my subs. I'm not going to buy any stickers or washi for the rest of the year. I'm going to try to be really good about not. Because it's just sitting here. It makes me sad when I think about it because... I have so much stuff and I don't know. I wish I lived like closer to people that I know, people that plan that I could just be like, here is a whole thing of stickers. Take them, use them, please. But I don't really know anybody near me that is a planner. So, you know. So it's hard to it's hard to just ship stuff out. And that's why I try to do the giveaways and I still have one coming for a big old pile of stuff that I just haven't I just haven't had time. It's been a crazy couple of months. Hopefully I can get to that like sometime this month. And I don't know. I'm not happy with this. Like, I like everything except this that I just did. I do not like. This marker is just so dark. I think it's just too dark. I wish I hadn't used it. But, or if I could have gotten it, you know, like this one stripe, that would have been fine. Like, that looks fine. But then the double stripe kind of bothers me. And these are just so light, you can't see what they say. I mean, I guess I could just go back and put my stickers on top of them, but no, I'm not doing that. Okay, anyway. Uh, so this is a fairly short video. I don't have a lot to talk about. I don't know. I'm just <sighs> I'm tired and I'm hungry. And I have to show you guys the best cup. I got this cup from Sweet Bean Plans. So I ordered my friend a cup with the ghost and it's got a little toboggan on. It's so cute and it has bats on it. So I bought it for her for Christmas, but it's fall. So I want to give it to her now. But I messaged, um, I messaged them and was like, so I got the, it's freaking bats. I have the washi card and I was like do you not why don't you have a cup that says it's freaking bats and she said we did one last year and there's one left I don't know if there's any more but she said that there was one on the website so I went and bought it and if you don't know this video this is my favorite video it's just a little girl and she's talking to her mom and there's like these little paper bats taped up behind her and she just says it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. And then her mom asks her why she loves Halloween so much. And she says, because it's always Halloween in my soul. And it, she just says it's so creepy. It's like the best video. Anyway, I've mentioned this before, but I love the cup and it's really nice. It's glass. I think it's like insulated, double walled. And yeah, so Sweet Bean Plans has the hookup for the Halloween stuff. So cute. But I picked that up, and then Nikki's is wrapped. So I can't share that one with you, but it's so cute. It's a little ghost with a toboggan. 
It's so cute. All right, so this is our little setup, plain, simple, a little bit of washi on every day. And, oh, I'll show you guys. So I mentioned my new friend that Steven made me. <laughs> um, she sent me a little sample of this ink. And so I tested it back here. I actually have it in my little uh, Traveler's Company pen. I love this pen. But it's Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss. And it's like the perfect mossy color, actually. So she has it in her Banu Matcha pen. But I'm not sure if that one's still available. But it is so pretty. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, a nice pen. But so I got, finally got my thing. Oh, and she actually had asked me a question. So you guys can tell me if you want to see this video. I seal, where's my, oh, I stuck it in here. I reseal my cartridges because like this pen uses cartridge only. It does not have converters. So I reseal, like this is the ink that I had in this one. It is TikTok Croc from Waringal. And I just use hot glue. I use a hot glue gun to seal these. So would you guys be interested in a video talking about that? I mean, it's not really uh, that in depth of a video, but I guess I could go and, you know, do like talk about some inks and then show you guys how I, there are a couple different ways that you can do it depending on your hot glue gun. But if you have a low high setting on your hot glue gun, if you'll turn it to low, and then you can just really hot glue it shut. <laughs> you don't even have to do anything different. If you only have the high setting or um, you don't have the temperature setting on it, it you have to like squirt the hot glue on something else and let it cool for about five seconds, like a metal tin, like something metal or glass. You don't want to put it on something that's going to burn or scorch or mess up. So... Yeah, but I thought I had talked to her about that and uh, I might do a video. So let me know if you guys would like to see some more fountain pen stuff. So maybe I can come up with a couple of things to do in that video so it won't be just me using hot glue on <laughs> cartridges. Maybe I can come up with some other things, uh, cleaning fountain pens, proper ways to clean fountain pens. I don't know. I know I have a mixture of people who use fountain pens and who don't. So just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more fountain pen content and I will show you like maybe some of my best ways, quickest ways to clean them, proper ways to clean them. And because I have several different pens that I can go through and show you how to clean them because they're all kind of different depending on how they come apart, if they come apart and if they don't. I'm still obsessed with these cats. They're adorable. But anyway, this is our video for this week. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more fountain pen content. And I will work on that. I think that's going to be it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you'd consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.